Welcome back to a new video. If you're new around here, make sure to like and subscribe. I hope you enjoy. Smart people learn from other people's mistakes. Fools learn from their own. I'm ashamed that I did porn. I'm proud of myself and what I've done and, and I wouldn't take anything back. However, it's not like I, I like the idea that people can view that of me. I personally, those videos make me want to throw up. It doesn't matter, you know, what people think. Like you could be any kind of person and inspire somebody or help somebody or, or whatever. The coyotes howl and the caravan keeps moving. <laughs> Meaning like, who gives a shit what they say? They look at you and they're like, man, look at this life she had in, in the adult film industry. Look at what she's done in social. And they probably look at you as a source of inspiration. And maybe they mm -hmm. think following a similar path is going to get them there. And I think you talking like this so openly. Yeah, it's cool. It's helping yeah. probably a lot of people, maybe people we never even know, yeah. right? Like well, they hear your story. You're doing now this thing with Playboy that's going to help. If you can just help one person, it, it really does matter. I don't care anymore. I'm extremely happy with myself. I know who I am and that's all that matters. There's no- Fair play to her for talking openly about it. You can tell she's ashamed and she regrets it. She said she was young when she made those decisions, but she's still an adult. You gotta think about these consequences. But now she's trying to change her life around and I think her approach to this is much better than like Mia Khalifa's. If you haven't seen it, go and watch it. It's crazy. I'm sure other women have seen her message and it's made them think twice about getting involved in this sort of content as the consequences can last a lifetime. And don't forget, she was like the number one. So she made a hell of a lot of money and she could bounce. A lot of these girls will make a minimal amount of money but their reputation's tarnished. It's just not worth it. I was just doing things that I thought would make me happy and they didn't. You were doing things that you thought would make other people around you happy. Like trying to make please other people. Like, you know, like you were talking about earlier on in your yeah. career, like the agents, the people who are part of your life, like, oh, I want to make sure they're happy in what I'm doing here, doing there. And you're yeah. never really focusing on yourself. I mean, even at a young age, it sounded like you were focused on trying to make like your family dynamic happy with your sister and take care of your sister in a sense. And it's like now you're finally getting to a point, which it's beautiful though, because you're still so young to have figured this out at this point. Some people still Still takes 10 20 more years to be like okay this is what really matters in life similar to what i was saying in the first clip she's seeing the consequences now as time's gone on i think she thought she could make the money and the things she's experiencing now wouldn't happen but things you do on the internet they circulate the internet for years they never really go away especially in her position being the number one star it's never really gonna disappear but I'm sure now she's made a lot of money, she can pursue the things that make her happy and that she wants to do, so all the best to her. What is one secret you never told your ex? My f his teammate, who actually plays, he was sitting the bench, so. Oh, I cheated on him in Athens. Why? With the, with the football player. Why, why, why did you cheat on him? Why did you cheat on because him? Because it was a football player, so like, why wouldn't I? She belongs to the street. What are three red flags in a guy's bedroom? In a guy's bedroom? Yeah, give me the three spiciest red flags you can think of. Having girls perfume or lotions in their room. What well, if they're just a little fruity? It don't matter. It don't matter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's basically it. Just that one. Just Everything that else one. is cool. As Everything long as they don't have cool. as long as they don't have girls perfume. Yeah. Don't have that one. Guys, come on, if you're new to the game, just hide the evidence. What does that entail? I want you to be a man. I want you to take care of me. Okay. I want you to provide for me. I want you to romance me. I want you to think about our future. I want you to provide for me. Okay. I want you know those are those. That's man. I want you to do everything. So like okay. definitely, I don't like. So okay. all that, all those, all those qualities is like things that take time to like find out about somebody. So what I'm saying is she like that's bigger mm, than hers. You know? If so, <laughs> so no, no. Yet. The question is. I hope so. If if you meet a guy and maybe he not showing those qualities at first, but you give him a chance, is you gonna be conditionally feminine for him, or are you gonna be feminine all the time? Mm, that's, I like that's this question. Turn off a lot of guys if like. If I like you, uh, it's a totally different me. Totally different. But like, mm. uh, totally yeah, different. True. How though? Because like, true. at she the end of the day, switch. it's you. You. I don't treat. You, I don't though. treat the average Joe like how I treat someone that I'm actually interested in. So I am more the type of person where I'm hard. I have a shell. You know what I'm saying? I've been through a lot. So mm. you're not gonna be able to read me, or you're not gonna be able to get through none of that shit. Like you're gonna have. I have to get comfortable with you Word. in order for me to be able to be that perfect woman, quote unquote, for you. So. Uh, I'm trying to answer your question the best way. I got. You know what I'm saying? I yeah, I got it. Like it yeah. depends I on the circumstance. Like I'm gonna act so differently in front of my boss or my parents. So if there's somebody that I'm interested in, I'm gonna act a certain way. I'm gonna be more feminine. I'm gonna try to 
like maintain myself to you know because mm -hmm. i like this guy you know but mm -hmm. it's different depending on the person or like the circumstance see the type of guy she's demanding it's in a very low percentage these guys are out there but there's not a lot of them so she wants a guy who can provide for her future and a guy of that caliber will probably question her past and how is she going to respond to that because that's what guys care about a girl's past if he's doing all that for you what are you doing in return are you being submissive are you being feminine are you trying to make him as happy as possible is he coming home to a clean home has the family been fed there's a lot of things men who are going to take care of you they don't care about how much you make if you're demanding those things as a man you've got to make sure you're offering everything you can as a woman it turned into me pretty much telling him i'm sleeping with whomever i want and you're just going to sit in the corner and watch so you became the master kind of i did i am <laughs> <laughs> and Dakota, how, how does that sit with you? I like it. I enjoy it. You enjoy it? Mm -hmm. yeah. So, so what, what, what does this really look like? I mean, <laughs> Sarah will bring home men, or tell me what, what happens. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she'll bring home guys, or uh, we'll go meet guys at like hotel rooms or stuff. But normally she just brings them home. Yep. I like the comfort of my own home. <laughs> These are just r random guys you'll meet? Mm-hmm. Well, I have a black only what? preference so all of them are black but yes and they're i've made them on websites or i've given my number out to people and random and just invited them over like a guy through a drive through i thought he was cute so i gave him my number and he showed up that night <laughs> i'm done with this i'm done with this world but men and women are equal I feel like that. Okay. Um, who holds more value into any situation with I'm, anything? You tell me. Who do you think it is? I don't. I don't. I feel like it's all equal because at the end of the day, it could all be wept out between the man and the woman. Okay. So, a question for you: Would you consider yourself like a fairly normal woman, like, like as far as like what you're attracted to in a man? Yeah, I'd probably say it's pretty normal. It's okay. Average. Um, what would you? You said you wanted an athlete, correct? Mm -hmm. uh, okay. I date an athlete. Okay. Um, what sport? Basketball. Okay, so that man is taller than you, more fit than you, more in shape than you, stronger than you, mm -hmm. more money than you. I would argue you guys are nothing when it comes to nothing close to equal. Are you talking about materialistically or are you talking about mentally? No, I'm talking about in general when we're talking about the attributes between the two parties. In one words, you want an athlete who's pretty much in the pinnacle of physical capability, etc. That's not equal at all. That man is superior to in almost every regard. And you expect to get in a relationship with this guy and make it a partnership? Gotcha, bitch. <laughs> and that's what I'm it's so true what you're saying. A guy like that, he's built himself up to that status and to be that successful. If he gets a good woman, she's just an asset. It's not really a partnership. Having a good woman is one of the greatest things life can offer. When a man's built a successful home, they want a good woman to move in, not help him build it. Mm -hmm.